Hi everyone, welcome to DIY with Nancy. Hope you're all doing well. Today I'm going to make a Portuguese pastry called cavacas. Cavacas are uh, light and airy on the inside and it has this nice sugar glaze on the outside. They're very simple, but very delicious. And uh, my sister-in-law passed this recipe on to me and I make them here at home and they're very simple, consists of four ingredients. And I'm gonna show you how to make cavacas today, step by step. To make the cavacas, here are the four ingredients you'll need. Eggs, oil, milk, and all-purpose flour. And that's all the ingredients you'll need for this recipe. I'm going to use the stand mixer. If you don't have a stand mixer, you can use a hand mixer. To start, I'm placing four eggs in the bowl and mixing it for about two minutes on high speed. And I want to get a nice creamy texture from the eggs before I add all my other ingredients. Now that my eggs are nice and creamy, I'm ready to add my next ingredients. I'm placing my mixer on at medium speed and I'm adding two ounces of milk. Next I'm adding one cup of vegetable oil. To avoid getting showered with flour, I'm placing the mixer on low speed, gradually adding one cup of all-purpose flour. Now that I have all my ingredients added, I'm going to place the mixer on high speed and let it mix for an additional five minutes. So it's been mixing about five minutes and I'm going to show you what the batter consistency is. And here you are. It's a thick batter. It's nice and airy and that's what you want for the kavakish. Now I'm ready to fill my cupcake tins. I've greased my tins with butter. You can use baking spray. And I'm using two spoons to gently place the batter into each of the tins. Here you'll see I'm filling the tins three quarters full. This recipe makes 12 kavakas and it's ready to go in the oven. I'll be baking them at 425 degrees for about 20 to 25 minutes. While the kavakas are in the oven, I'm going to prepare the sugar icing. I have here one and a half cups of sifted icing sugar and I'm going to add three tablespoons of water gradually. If you prefer a thicker icing, add only two tablespoons of water as opposed to three. The kavakas are out of the oven and ready to be glazed with icing sugar to add that touch of sweetness. While the kavakas are still warm, I'm simply gonna drizzle some icing sugar onto the kavakas. And there you have it. The kavakas are ready to be served. Okay, everyone, that was it. That's my recipe for the kavakas. I hope you enjoy the recipe, and I want you to see as well what the inside of the kavaka looks like. Just break it up there. It's hollow and airy, but this is the little moistness I was talking about, and then the sugar icing, absolutely delicious. I hope you all enjoy the recipe today. And if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, take care everyone.